The secret to a good looking crown molding job is having very tight fitting miters. Now that can be a difficult proposition. It can also be a lot easier using a tool like this combination protractor. To use it, simply place the tool in the corner, open the wings until they contact the wall, and read the miter cut directly from the gauge. Now if you're cutting crown molding on an angle, just set the miter saw to match the setting on the combination protractor, insert the workpiece into the miter saw, and make the cut. However, if you're cutting molding on the flat, you'll be making a compound miter cut, and we'll need to determine the saw miter angle as well as the bevel angle. In this case, the process becomes a bit more involved. For one thing, we'll need to know the molding spring angle. That's the angle between the molding itself and the wall. In most cases, it will be either 38 degrees or 45 degrees. The spring angle can be easily determined with the combination protractor. Using the conversion table on the back of the tool, locate the column with the appropriate spring angle, in this case 38 degrees. Then move down the miter angle column until you find the row showing the miter cut setting that matches the one displayed on the front of the combination protractor. Next, read the miter angle and set the saw to match. Now let's return to the table and again look under the 38 degree spring angle. This time go to the bevel angle column, drop down to the correct row, note the corresponding bevel angle and set the saw to match. The saw is now set to begin cutting this particular corner. When cutting crown molding, the orientation of the workpiece to the saw is critical. In this example, I've labeled the right and left hand pieces as well as the bottom edges. When cutting the left hand section on an inside corner like this, swing the saw arm to the right and place the workpiece to the left of the blade with the bottom edge away from the saw fence. To cut the right hand section, swing the saw to the left and place the workpiece to the left of the blade with the bottom against the fence. Here's how to handle an outside corner. Use the combination protractor to measure the wall angle and calculate the miter and bevel angles. Here too I've marked the molding for orientation. When cutting the left hand section of an outside corner, swing the saw arm left and place the work to the right side of the blade with the bottom edge against the fence. For the right hand piece, swing the arm to the right and set the work to the right side of the blade, but position the bottom edge away from the fence. So if you want a professional looking job without a lot of the hassle, well you might want to try a combination protractor.